I thank the uh, media for attending today. I stand before you today to present my business tax initiative. This is a blueprint to make Winnipeg a more viable and prosperous city and to provide opportunity for all. This financial initiative is a result of well over 400 of the brightest minds in Winnipeg who've got together and thought and have come up with these ideas. My first priority as mayor of your city will be to place a cap on business tax. Out of the $58 million we collect on business tax, $3 million which will be earmarked to a new economic development investment fund. The fund will be operated at arm's length from City Hall and to be administered by the Economic Development Winnipeg. This fund will be dedicated to support economic development initiatives tied to Winnipeg's economic development plan. In each of the following years, the fund will increase by $3 million until it reaches the cap of $58 million. This is an example of what we're going to do and how we're going to do it, and it's a simplified version of what we're planning, planning on doing. $58 million is the cap on business tax right now. Collected in business tax, of course, is the same, $58 million. The more businesses that join and operate in Winnipeg, the lower the business tax burden will be upon the Winnipeg businesses. New business initiative is designed to create more businesses, to make Winnipeg a more viable city, a city that you want to raise your family in. We're using an example here. 58 businesses in Winnipeg. They pay a million dollars each, adding up to $58 million in business tax. What we plan on doing is growth. $58 million times 116 businesses, meaning we doubled our business. Our business tax will now go down to $500,000. That's $500,000 less. In year three, the cap is still at $58 million. We've gone up to 232 businesses. Your business tax now went from a million dollars to $250,000. And a final example is $58 million at a capped rate of 464 businesses, $125,000 in business tax. Now this is doing more than just capping business tax. It's making us have a booming economy, economy where we can put our kids to work. When kids go to university and they're educated here in Manitoba, we want them to put our, their skills to work right here in Manitoba. What we're going to do with this $3 million is we're going to fund businesses. We're going to create more business opportunities. We're going to make Winnipeg a more viable city. This money is good money. The business tax was created for businesses. Now the $55, $55 million that's going to be left over is going back to the investment of Manitoba and Winnipeg. But $3 million of that money is going to support new businesses. It's going to create new businesses. We are going to bring businesses downtown. We want to create an environment that's going to be booming, something where we could bring businesses of all types of races right here into Winnipeg. For example, we could take Selkirk Avenue in the city of Winnipeg and we could put a variety of Aboriginal businesses down there. It could be a miniature cordon with businesses related to the Aboriginal community. We could do that in, in all types of different communities, the Greek community, the Portuguese community, and, and so on. And we can mix these communities together. And together we could build stronger communities, communities that will work together as one. And that's my plan. Social Enterprise Center um, will be in every neighborhood. Now, Social Enterprise Center is an incubator for new business. That means we take those 700 businesses that are waiting right now to open but just don't have the funds or the experience or the knowledge. We're going to train them, we're going to teach them, and we're going to make sure they're viable businesses. We want businesses to grow and we want our city to grow. It's also going to do a lot for the employment of the city of Winnipeg. We're going to employ more people and we have more people employed, that means we have a more vibrant city. And that is our plan. I thank you for coming here today and if you have any questions, you're welcome to uh, send, them in my, send them to my direction or direct them through our email where we can uh, answer them there or to uh, our website which will have more information for you there and a more detailed list on how we plan on lowering your business tax.